Father, we come into your presence this afternoon as we celebrate International Women's Day. We come mindful of our families. We come to you, Father, who is the author and the creator of the family. We recognize your incredible love and grace towards our families in that it was the first institution that you yourself ordained and implemented with the placement of Adam and Eve in the garden. We thank you that it was always your intention to be a part of our family, to be the center of our family, because your word declares that in the cool of the evening you walked with them, Father. We thank you. Father, we are repentant as we are mindful that our homes no longer reflect that intimacy and that welcoming atmosphere where you and you alone are the center of our families. Father, for that we ask your forgiveness. Father, our families are in crisis when we recognize what's happening in the Bahamas. Our homes are in disarray. It must bleed your heart. But today, Father, we come in acknowledgement of our frailties. We come in acknowledgement of our sin and our idolatry, our cycles that created generational issues that have caused our families to go astray. We are mindful today, Father, of the women who have bowed in obedience to the calling of their role in the families. Mary, who submitted to the angel with the message that she would be the carrier of the Savior. Father Hannah, who grieved that she was barren, Lord God, and you blessed her womb. Even Rahab, Father, who may not have been the ideal, yet, Father, because of your grace and your mercy, the line of Jesus came through that woman in that particular situation. So today, family, we bring every, today, Father, we bring every situation related to our families before you. However it may start, Father, we know that every single person has been ordained with a purpose from you. And today, Lord God, we come asking you to intervene. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy upon the families of the Bahamas. Help us that we would seek you, Father, what, before it's too late, that we would humble ourselves before you, that we would cry out for our families, for our marriages, for our children, Lord God, so that we can turn back to you because we know that healthy families make healthy countries. We thank you, Lord God, because your arm is not too short, nor your air deaf, but it is because of who we are and what we've done. And so, Father, in this moment, we come with a heart that is repentant, we as women come in a unified front and become seeking you, Lord God, and asking you, Lord God, to have your way in our families as we turn back to you. We thank you because you are faithful to perform it. In the name of Jesus, amen. 